previous video, we created our very first campaign in Woodpecker. Now, I'm going to show you the campaign list and the stats view. This is Woodpecker's campaigns list. It's an overview of all the campaigns that are running, completed, paused, or in the draft, waiting to be sent. Campaign's current status is represented by an icon on the left. There, you can also find information about who created it and when. If you move your campaign to a folder, the folder's name will be added there under the Sent From tag. Click the folder's name to move your campaign to another folder or remove it from the existing one. To see your folder section, switch to Folders View. Okay, let's get back to the campaigns list. Moving to the right, you'll find information about how many prospects were selected for the campaign, how many opening emails have been already delivered, how many of them have been opened, and what the reply rate was. On the right-hand side, you'll find the interest level. You can use the drop-down menu if you'd like to edit, copy, move to a folder, or delete your campaign. Click on your campaign's name or the Stats button to be redirected to your campaign. Now, let's talk about the stats themselves. In the top left corner, you'll find the number of prospects who have been added to your campaign. At the beginning, all the opening emails will be added to the queue. After you start your campaign, Woodpecker will verify your prospect's email addresses. Here, you can check the number of invalid, non-existent emails. Woodpecker will not contact these prospects. Make sure your CSV file consists of verified emails and that you keep it up to date. With time, the number of queued emails will decrease and you'll see more sent emails. Please remember that this number shows how many opening emails Woodpecker has sent in this campaign. Below, you'll find the bounced messages. This means that your messages were rejected. A high bounce rate may indicate spam issues. Don't worry though, the bounce rate below 1% isn't harmful to your domain. The middle section shows you how many opening emails were delivered, prospects that have opted out, and the click ratio if it was enabled. Probably the most important stats you'd like to see are your opened emails and the response rate. By looking at the opened and bounced stats, you can tell if your emails hit your prospects' inboxes. On the bottom right corner, you'll find three smileys which represent the interest level. Below the infographic with general stats, you'll find more information. By clicking on the little arrow on the right side, you'll be able to see the path's details, such as your email's delivery time, daily limit, and the content. If you click on any of these stats, for example, responded, you'll be able to check who exactly replied to your emails. Let's check the response. Great, it looks like a positive one. You should mark it as interested. On the right side, there's the last activity feed, which shows you when the message was sent, when your recipients opened it, and when they responded. Let's check one more response. This prospect responded negatively to the campaign. To make sure no emails will be sent to them in the future, change their status to blacklisted. Almost all the statuses are assigned automatically, so you don't need to worry about it. Anytime you select specific prospects, for example, filtering them by email, email sent, opens, or clicks and export them in the CSV file. Checkmark them, click the Actions tab, and then Export. Woodpecker can differentiate between autoresponders, so-called out-of-office replies, from the actual responses. This message was qualified as an automated one because of its subject. Sometimes, you'll receive the out-of-office reply or vacation responses to your campaign. Woodpecker will let you know about it you will see a red dot next to the tab to check. That message will be assigned to the Auto Reply category. Here, you can change your prospect status or resume the sending. Just pick the date you would like it to be resumed. This way your prospect won't receive any messages while they're unavailable. This brings us to the third tab, to check. As you can see, here you can find prospects whose data is missing so no emails can be sent to them prospects who have been found or added to another campaign, whose responses may be coming from a different email address, or whose status has been changed to paused manually. The sending to all of them have been paused. 
It's your move to decide what happens next. That's it. Your responses will land directly in your inbox where you can continue to build a relationship with your leads. If you'd like to get your weekly stats to your mailbox, sign up for the summary emails and settings. Thank you for being with us. If you have any questions, we're happy to help.